as I recollect some of my memories from the past. Then, <clears throat> still, in the, in the eyes of my mind, I can clearly see when our dear Sripad Bhakti Alok Paramadhyati Swami Maharaj this happened to be at Navadip Chaitanya Sarasat Mat. This came to Navadip Chaitanya Sarasat Mat and stayed there for nearly a month. I don't exactly remember for how many days, but he stayed there for a long time, quite a while. Mm -hmm. And he, he came to Sri Chaitanya Sarasatmat Navaddi with so much regard and love for Srila Guru Maharaj. By that time, we knew that he already started his mission. He was a, he's a good preacher, very energetic, efficient preacher of Krishna consciousness. Okay, in the Western Western country, Western field. Uh, but a certain point when as soon as he came to know about Srila Guru Maharaj, he just came over out of his spontaneous feelings of love and high regard for him to take shelter, seek a shelter from Srila Guru Maharaj. And at some point Srila Guru Maharaj wanted him to stay back and to, to continue to stay at Chaitanya Sarasat for Navuddhi for a while. And he did so. Following the desire of Guru Maharaj, he did so. And at that time, yeah, we are we who came to know about each other, grew some loving friendship between each other, between myself and him. At that time he was known as Alalna Son, mostly. And then thereafter, after, <coughs> after receiving the holy order of Shamnasa from the hands of Srila Guru Maharaj, and his new name, which was given by Srila Guru Maharaj, became Simad Bhakti Alok Paramadvaiti Swami. And we found Srila Guru Maharaj took happiness, special happiness to confer the holy order of Sannyasa upon him. Because Sri Guru Maharaj could feel into his consciousness, into his goodness, into his feelings of loving appreciation at his heart for Sri Guru Maharaj, for our Guru Bhargu. There was so much sincerity Sincere eagerness, he came forward to accept some Nasho from the hands of, the, of his great, glorious Shiksha Gurudev, his divine grace. So, Bhakti Rakshak Siddhar Dev Goswami Maharaj, our Guru Maharaj. Hmm. So, at some point, he was very satisfied. Paramadhyaji Swami was very satisfied receiving the special grace from Sila Guru Maharaj in the form of Shandhyasa. I, I could, I mean, the whole event of 
of uh, his taking of some nursery is very much living, still alive in my memory. It feels like as if it happened the other day. <laughs> so much alive in my memory. Years passed by in between, but it seems to me, feels within me as if that happened, that happened the other day, not so long ago. There's many such sweet old memories in my life. So after, after Sri Guru Mahaj gave him the Samnasha, Samnasha Mantram and Samnasha, Samnasha Dandam, then he ordered me and Krishna Saran Brahmachari, one of his uh, dear disciples, to take care of the fire sacrifice ceremony in an official way to satisfy the functionality, to satisfy the official you know, uh, functions of Sannyasa. <clears throat> so we performed. So we performed this special fire sacrifice ceremony uh, for specific for his sannyasa on occasion of his sannyasa taking I mean under the instruction of Guru Maharaj. Hmm. Krishna Sharan Brahmachari uh, did the role, played the role of Hota, offering ghee, uttering mantra and offering ghee in the fire. And I played the role of an Acharya, Yajna Acharya, <laughs> reading out, or chanting aloud all the Vedic mantras meant, meant for that holy fire sacrifice. Following me, Krishna Brahmachari was also uttering them and offering ghee. Habana, he was doing the habana, or ghee in the holy fire sacrifice. So you know, that's the that's a very special Vedic system that at the time of second initiation Gayatri Diksha, at the time of Acceptance of Upanayanam, sacred thread, sacred thread ceremony, at the time of Sannyasa ceremony, all must be completed, officially completed through the performance of the fire sacrifice, Vaishnava Yagya. Mm. So, is one of the sweet memories in my life in relation to our dear Sripad Paramadvaiti Swami Maharaj. And thereafter, means from after taking Samnasa, he continued to stay in Charitana Sarsat Mat for, for many days. Hmm. And he was, I still remember, he was just walking around, moving around. <laughs> In Chaitanya Sarasat Mat, like his own home, feeling quiet at his own home, mm. he discovered, which was discovered, revealed to him okay. by, by some sweet will of the Lord, he was attracted to his home mm. at Navadip Chaitanya Sarasat Mat. That was, that's what we could clearly feel. That's what we just felt upon watching his ways of the movement. Just, just moving so freely, freely, happily, lovingly, okay, relating with the not living devotees, okay, 
is in a loving, friendly way, in relation to Guru Maharaj. Of course, I also had a loving, friendly relation with him. In this way, so he felt very nice about, um, about his nature of movement, nature of movement in Chaitanya Sahasrat Mat as his own home. That way, under the grace of shelter, loving guidance of his divine grace, Sri Bhakti Rakshak, Sri Dharadeva Goswami Maharaj, a beloved Guru Maharaj. And something we also marked in his character during those days, he was being so naturally loving and humble in relation to other Vaishnavas of the temple. Usually, quality of humbleness not so easily found in the Western lives, <laughs> in the Western personalities. Something like unusual for them. But by that time we found that uh, Paramadvaji Swami already had that had that Vaishnava qualification of humility, humbleness, loving humbleness, natural way. And his, so his Vaishnava humbleness, his loving way of reciprocation with other more devotees, time to time, are all appreciated. We all appreciate it. Hmm. Very nice. At some point, Srila Guru Maharaj also encouraged him to carry on his mission, what he has already started, under the divine guidance of the both of his Diksha Gurudev. Sila Avai Charanaravinda Bhakti Vedantar, Swami Maharaj, Swami Prabhupada. And also seek our guidance of Sila Guru Maharaj. Okay. So, I remember Sila Guru Maharaj inspired him to carry on with his preaching mission, mission of Krishna consciousness. Okay, under the Situated in the center of his Diksha Gurudev Sila Bhakti Vedanta Swami Prabhupachi. And also under the under the divine guidance, under the gracious guidance of Sila Guru Maharaj. <coughs> Since he also took uh, Shiksha from Nasha Shelter from Guru Maharaj. He was, in other words, uh, by then he was already, he, he already became some natural disciple of Srila Guru Maharaj. So, he had a relationship. So, So as Sila Guru Maharaj accepted him as some national disciple, he also accepted Sila Guru Maharaj as some national guru. So now there's some new beautiful okay, uh, special relationship now felt between them, Sila Guru Maharaj and Sipak Paramadvaiti Swami Maharaj. So naturally. And Sila Guru Maharaj dearly accepted him as Sannyasa disciple, so he also wanted to follow his guidance. So he wanted him to carry on his mission of Krishna consciousness, accepting the guidance of both, under the guidance of his initiating spiritual master, Diksha Gurudev, Sila Bhakti Vedanta, Swami Prabhupada, as well as also Siksha guidance of Sila Guru Maharaj of himself in this way. 
in harmony. Okay. In a harmonious relationship. That's what your Guru Maharaj means. Harmonious relationship between both the Guru Devas. Gaur Haribo. Felt special love and affection to some of the, or to, to many of the uh, disciples of Sri Bhakti Vedanta Swami Prabhupada, because he wanted him to guide them. Sri Bhakti Vedanta Swami Maharaj so lovingly wanted, invited Sri Guru Maharaj to cultivate his Western disciples, okay, by giving, okay, under his gracious guidance. So, Srila Guru Mahaj remembered that. So, because Srila Guru Mahaj natural, so there, was, there was some natural feelings of loving affection of Sila Guru Maharaj from his own from his own stand on his own at the same time because of that special request and invitation loving invitation given by extended by Sila Avai Charan Aurobindo Bhakti Vedanta Swami Maharaj to him to guide to is to provide uh, proper guidance, all appropriate guidance to all his disciples to cultivate their spiritual life okay. with all love and care like a real guardian, okay, affectionate guardian. And therefore Sila Guru Maharaj wanted to do that also. Gaur Haribo, Gaur Haribo. You are supposed to ask me about this. I knew, so I just spontaneously came out. Spontaneously started describing it. Gaur Haribo. So we, we all do appreciate the high regard and love of our Sipat Paramadhyati Swami Maharaj, Power Sila Guru Maharaj. Okay. We have seen that he's got so much regard and love from both his Guru Padupadma, Guru Devas, in his life. And that's some very appreciable quality, one of the appreciable qualities which makes our heart very happy, brings some happiness, special happiness to our heart. A good harmonist. Gaur Haribo.